Is that clickbait? Probably, but it's actually true. So, what I am going to tell you today is how this video on Facebook, which was posted two years ago, went completely viral. Um, not like Logan Paul, whatever his name is, that kind of shit, showing a dead body and stuff. Nah, it's not that kind of viral, so don't worry. However, it's a trick which got 68,000 views in the space of literally two, three days. And for some reason, everyone seemed to like it. There was a lot of negativity to it as well because it is a stupid trick that I did. Um, I am embarrassed how I performed it. However, it went viral and it helped me grow as a person, learn from my mistakes. And also the trick itself is actually good. However, I performed it like a complete idiot at the time, but I had only been doing magic for like literally a month at that time. And I was just loading up video after video after video. So before I show you the actual video of the trick, um, I'm also going to leave a link in the description on the actual Facebook link so you can show that I'm not lying, that is genuine how it did actually go a little bit viral, not mega mega viral, but 68,000 views is a hell of a lot I think. It doesn't matter if I only had 20 views, 10 views, doesn't matter, as long as there's one person watching it, one person enjoying it, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep on doing it. So just to make sure that like, obviously I don't want to feel like it is clickbaiting, but if you do want to go viral on any social media, my best tip to you would be literally just keep uploading, keep going, keep going, keep going, never give up. Some things are gonna have hardly any views, some things are gonna go bigger than others. It might be that you put a lot of hard work into a certain trick, certain video, and it gets the least views, and something that you've put hardly any work into it gets tons of views. It's just how it works. Uh, but the best thing to do is not to quit, not to give up, and just keep posting, posting, posting. Try and make it good content, unlike what this video that I did was, which is horrible and extremely cringy to watch. So, enough talk about it. Let's see the cringiest video, I'm gonna call it, I have ever done that went viral. it's kind of painful to watch again yeah right so it's kind of obvious how this trick works but I'm going to explain in detail how it works and how you can make it look better as well so first of all this trick was a inspiration from a trick called double stuffed by theory 11 it was a Oreo trick where you made the white bit in the middle um, appear. So this was just like my handling and routines around something like that that inspired me. So for this trick, if you want to make it completely viral, you need a dodgy camera, which barely records. You need some old specky glasses, so you look like you're very intelligent and you know what you're doing. You need a, a dodgy camera angle where you're looking down and of course, Oreos. And this is the best part about it. Right, I'm not gonna wear the glasses because they give me a headache now because I'm even more blind than what I was. No surprise there because I'm always gaming. Um, so the best part about this trick is that you're just constantly eating Oreos. So if I make you fat, you should be thankful that you're not starving. So buy yourself some Oreos and take one out. So you're going to take one out and 
Preferably get the double stuffed one so you can see the white bit a little bit clearer. This isn't a double stuffed one because they don't have any in the shop. You are going to open it up without breaking it into little bits. Like I said, best part about this trick, if it goes wrong, eat it and start again. Approximately 10 hours later. Right. Not quite gone to plan. I've got through half a pack. Not a bad thing, I would have ate them anyway. But, get some thick Oreos, because these ones just break. Get the thick ones. This one's already broken a little bit, but I'm going to explain it now. So yeah, I've already opened it up. I actually used a knife to try open it up and not completely break it. However, it's still gonna break. So, you're going to, obviously, open the Oreo. It's never that easy, because these are thin, crappy little things. And, you are gonna eat the white stuff. Or, give the illusion that you eat the white stuff. So, nom nom nom. You're pretending that you've got the white stuff. And in the video I showed my mouth that I had the white stuff in there. When really, all you're doing is basically clearing up that first half of the section of the Oreo. So, obviously at this angle. So then when you close it up, you then close it up and you then show them that there's nothing in there. Ta-da! Magic. And then, all you have to do is swivel it round. So it looks like Oreo appears. Obviously in that video that I did, it was very obvious that it was like pretty much like this, that you could still see it on the side. Just as well, I had a very bad camera. So now you have your broken Oreo into little bits, showing it as empty. Like I said, just give it a little shake whilst you're swiveling it round so it creates the illusion. And you're just making that 180 turn. Obviously, don't stick your finger out like this and then go and hide the finger because it looks really stupid. Kind of like what I did. The whole video looked very stupid. Less waffling on. So, pretty simple trick. You are just eating half an Oreo if you can get it open. So, it shows the empty side. Putting it together, show it as empty, and just spinning it round, kind of like the shake change, and you get this Oreo illusion. Easiest cleanup in the world. This, you won't get an easier cleanup in the world than this trick. This is why it's my favorite trick, because the cleanup is. So, I said that trick went completely viral on Facebook, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a little bit of a fun trick. I don't take myself seriously, as you can tell. Um, just, it's something super visual, and it is a really cool trick, if you can do it right. Um, I didn't do it right in the video. I am just explaining a basic routine around it. But that whole illusion of kind of eating something, you've shown it in your mouth, that you've got something in your mouth, the white bit, it gives the illusion that you've when you're eating and biting it, you gotta make sure that it looks like you're eating all of it. When you close it up, make sure that nothing's showing. And then, it's just a little swivel. It's so easy to do, and it's a great illusion as well, I think. And it's food as well. Who doesn't love food magic? Because you can always eat it. So, I hope you enjoy that, guys. And I hope it goes viral for you guys. Like I said, just make keep making videos. Um, I am going to make myself very, very fat. Like I said, I wasn't lying when I said I had half a packet. Like I said, that one's just sticking up the other way. So I, I genuinely did go for about six or seven of these. It's not a bad thing. So have a good time and I'll see you soon.